Hi, it's Gail with TradersHelpDesk.com and in this presentation I'm going to go through how accurately we can predict price movement. Now wouldn't it be great if only we could predict where the price would begin a retracement? Where would the retracement go? Or when price was going into congestion areas? We would save a lot of money as traders. Well now you can because the fact is volume leads price. Now most volume indicators actually use a moving average and this takes a leading indicator and makes it into a lagging indicator. The THD directional volume uses no moving averages. Instead it analyzes the sellers and the buyers bar by bar. As you can see on this one we made a new high here and a new high here. Both have volume divergences. What happened? Well, price retraces. And as you can see, it went from a high of 1979 down to a low of about 1973. But the issue is we have divergence all day long in the volume. Which ones do you choose to trade? Well, we added the THD ADX and we simply look for magenta peaks. Now, magenta peak means it's a pointed top and price will retrace. If it's a flat top, it's going to retest either the high or the low that formed the peak. So in this case, on the first divergence, you can see that the ADX is flat. We knew it would retest that top. Then on the second divergence, that's the one that we wanted because we got the pointed top magenta peak which tells us it's going to retrace. But where will it go? Well, it's going to go back to the trend ATR which is this plus sign. And once it gets there, it's going to bounce. And you can see in this case, that's exactly what it did. It approached the ATR, did it on a decrease in volume, it's going to bounce. And then, if you get a magenta peak on a higher time frame, in this case, the 12 minute chart, then you're going to have even more of a retracement. It also easily identifies congestion areas. See the gray dots and the plus signs? That's telling us that we can't trend trade during these areas. Instead, we have to take trades at the bottom or at the top of the congestion areas. You see it again over here. It goes down to the congestion dot, back up to the ATR, and then has a major move to the downside. Now, the market analyzer, it doesn't lie. You have to catch the market analyzer on the live edge of the market. And in this case, you can see I have all of my Forex pairs listed in the market analyzer. And we have a total of seven magenta peaks. If you look at the market analyzer over here, you can see that each one of them tells us how much of a retracement we're anticipating. In total, we're expecting a move of over 625 pips between all of these magenta peaks. How well did it work? Well, on the Euro British Pound, it was 50 pips. On the British Pound Aussie, we missed it by 44 ticks because it only moved 101. But on the British Pound Yen, we had 125 pips. On the Euro Yen, we got the full 44 pips. Then on the British Pound New Zealand, it moved 121 pips as anticipated. On the USD JPY, 46. And then over on the British pound US dollar, we had 93 pips which were anticipated and it completed. So overall, how well did it work? Remember, we anticipated 625 pips of movement. That's 80% of the trades achieved their profit targets or 93% of our original profit targets were achieved. But does it just work on Forex? No, it works on all markets all time frames. Today release the FOMC meeting minutes and you can see all of the markets just about were actually oversold. On crude there would be 128 tick retracement. On the ES 54. On the DAX 298. How well did it do today? Well the Dow did the complete retracement. The ES complete retracement. NASDAQ complete retracement. The DAX complete retracement. Only crude did not do the complete retracement. So in this scenario we expected 698 ticks of movement. We actually got 570. 
that's 80% of the trades working in your favor and 82% of the profit targets achieved. That's pretty good odds.